Hey guys, it's Greg from scholarfarms.com and we're talking about drones and plant mapping. And typically when I'm talking about this, we're talking about still photos collected by the drones that we process into maps. But this can take a very long time to process all the imagery compared to if we just use video from the drone. And video is cheap and it's getting much better for a very low cost drone. So you can get a Mavic Pro or something similar for less than a thousand dollars. You can shoot 4K video and then you can upload that then to show someone for say spot checking a field. But one of the big problems is that you don't necessarily know where exactly you're looking at in that video. Well recently when I was out in Exponential in Denver, the big drone event, I ran into some guys from survey.com, S-U-R-V-A-E, survey.com, and they have a very interesting way to sync the video that's taken by the drone with the flight logs from the apps that you use. So you can use an app like Lychee or Lychee, uh, and then you can sync the flight logs with the video, and then you get a nice overlay between the two. And so I wanna show you what I mean. Let's log into a screencast, and I'll look at some flight data from strawberry fields that I took just yesterday. So here we are at survey.com and I won't go into too much detail into their website. You can check it out for yourself. The important things to note is you can start a 30 day trial and try it out yourself. You can demo the platform and look at their example data sets. We'll look at some of those in just a bit. And you can also look at pricing. Pricing starts at $75 a month. They have a monthly pricing. I'll just get that out of the way. $75, $150, $350 per month. Uh, and so that's kind of the ballpark that you can think about as you look at these different features. So let me show you uh, what I did yesterday looking at a map. So here we're looking at a map and I'll go ahead and change that to a Google satellite view. And what's interesting here is in the survey platform, in my account, I have the map on the right hand side. And then you can see the data products that I've uploaded, both in terms of images or of videos. And I can go ahead and pull those up. So on the right hand side, these pink lines are videos that I've taken. And these dots then are still photos. You can also upload panoramics. You can also upload any kind of video. It doesn't necessarily have to be drone video as long as it's geo reference. So you can do GoPro, you could do 360 video from a handheld camera. In this case, we're just using a drone and then we're uploading the flight log data. And it's very simple. You just click on upload and you can find all your media and upload it as well as you need to upload the flight log from the Leechy app. And that takes a little bit to figure out. Uh, but once you find those flight logs, it's pretty simple and you can do it every single time. So I want to show you just one quick linear transect that I did so that you can get an idea of what the video looks like. So I'll go ahead and click on that video. And I've really only played around with this for a little bit. So I would uh, do it a little bit differently next time I flew a little bit too quickly. I might fly a little more slowly, but let me go ahead and pause the video and explain it to you. On the right hand side, we can see the overlay of the Google Maps here of where I flew over this particular field and then on the left hand side we can see the video and then I can slide this back and forth and you can see that it changes on the map off to the right. I can also move this up and down and get a nice thumbnail uh, of the video as well as it moves in the left hand screen as well. So I'll go ahead and pause this. What I think is really interesting about this software is it allows you to do very rapid spot checking or line transects of your fields. And that way you don't have to map, but you can still get that reference video. It's very quick and it's not super quantitative, but often in ag, it's really just about basic management decisions and they just need eyes in the sky uh, above the fields and to do make decisions very quickly, particularly during the growing season. They don't have time to sit down and dive through all the data. They really need data that's very quick. And this is super simple and intuitive intuitive. You can change the resolution of the data. You can also change uh, how you visualize the data. So we can make that uh, a, a smaller thumbnail up in the corner if you really want to look at the video. We can also do a full screen here of the video. We'll go back. Let's look at a still photo. So here if I was spot checking the field I and just taking individual photos, I could also upload those reference photos. And those don't have to necessarily be aerial photos. You could imagine taking photos with a camera on the ground of individual plants and then referencing those as well so that you can have that linear transect of the drone data, but then some very close up photos on the ground for spot checking. That seems really intuitive to me for just an easy deliverable to someone to say, okay, here's what the aerial view does. 
this looked like a problem that I spotted out in the field. I took some pictures of it and I overlaid it and you get it all right in here. Not super quantitative, it's not super high resolution orthomosaics, but maybe it's not what you need and it's actually something that you would look at or spend the time to look at. It's also something you can use your Phantom or your Mavic that's sitting on the shelf uh, to you to get back into action and uh, to be able to use it on a daily basis and no one needs a lot of training they just go out and fly and then they can collect and capture the data so i won't go into each one of these different flights but i think this is just a really nice simple interface let's go ahead and look at some of the examples that they put out as well so here we're in the example data sets provided by survey and here we can look at the video we can also look at still images and what's been uploaded the nice thing is that if you zoom out, you can also see historically where other data layers have been taken. So if you have teams with lots of different flights, you can see we did a flight here, there's flights and still images down here. And then on the left-hand side, it just references those. So here's an example data set with some plants in it. So let's go ahead and look at that and we'll just let that play really quickly. So what I think is really interesting is not just thinking about plant data, but really any kind of corridors or transect mapping that we typically do, you could do it very quickly with this video. So for example, if we had this camera pointed straight down, we could count every bird or every sea lion, we could count trash, we could count uh, you know, anything that we really need to, to look at, you wouldn't need to necessarily map. You could just go ahead and fly those transects. We could pause the video, do the counts, and then continue on the way. And so for me, I feel like it's pretty transformative for what drones can do, but also allows you to do it very quickly and get over that pain point of mapping. We'll go ahead and let that play a little bit longer. I can speed it up so that we're directly over the vegetation can see what that looks like. We can zoom in to and we can get a full screen and we can go back again. All right, that's survey.com. Interesting software. Those guys don't pay me to say that. I just think it's a really nice tool that could complement your plant mapping needs. If you're interested in scaling your program and learning more about how to map plants with drones, you can check us out at scholarfarms.com. We have a whole masterclass for vegetation mapping. It's about 10 hours of video content, all the labs, example data sets, all given right there for you. And you can really have a deep dive into vegetation mapping and how to become a professional in your field in mapping with drones. So I'm Greg, we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you.